Here are the instructions of obtaining a bonded title for your vehicle when that is the best process to use. First of all, start with collecting all of your documentation. Do you have a bill of sale for the vehicle? Do you have records of text messages or receipts or things showing how you acquired the vehicle? Once you've pulled all those together, then you're going to contact a bonding company. A bonding company will sell you a vehicle surety bond. This is something that guarantees the ownership of the vehicle. Usually that bond is going to cost about $100, could be $90, $95, $100. And you can locate a bonding company through our website at cartitles.com. We have a list of uh, a bunch of very good bonding companies we've used in the past. You can also do a Google search for vehicle title bond and then your state. So if you're, let's say, in Minnesota, you do Google search for vehicle title bond Minnesota. There will be many companies that show up. The good thing about a vehicle title bond is the amount that you'll pay for any one company versus another will likely be the same. It's usually a statutory regulated industry so that the price for a bond is regulated by the state in your state. So you're not going to be too... Uh, much variation between one company and another. However, once you do find a company that you want to deal with, you might ask them if they will also do the rest of the paperwork after they sell you the bond. That may be a convenience that they offer to you as a customer. That's where your shopping around will get you some value. Once you've contacted the bonding company, they're going to have to approve the bond for your car. There will be an underwriting process to make sure that your scenario is applicable for them issuing a bond because they're on the hook for the whole price of the car. So if it's a $3,000 car and you're only paying $100 for the bond, if anything goes wrong with that ownership, they're guaranteeing that ownership. So they'll probably do some due diligence to make sure that they're less likely to be on the hook for an expense of paying for that car at a later date. Once you have the bond from that company, it'll be a certificate of surety you then take that to your DMV along with an application for a bonded title. Uh, those two things are the only two pieces of paper you need to bring to the DMV. Uh, once you have that, they will issue you a title in your name. Now that title may indicate that it's a bonded title. That designation normally falls off automatically after three or five years. It also is not like a uh, salvage title or rebuilt title where it has some permanent brand on the title. It just indicates that a bonding company approved and backed up that title. Like I said, in many cases, the bonding company will also do that paperwork at the DMV for you. If you can talk to the company that you deal with about that possibility, they may offer to do it. Even if they don't, worst case scenario, you do it yourself. It's a very simple process. You fill out one form, you send it in or mail it in, they'll send you a title. Again, you don't have to pay any outside company hundreds of dollars to do this. In fact, in some cases, that's illegal. If a company is offering to sell you a bond or do a bond for you, in many cases, that offering requires a license in the state to do business and it has limits on the fees. There's a lot of online companies that charge four or $500 to do a bonded title, which may or may not be legal. So make sure that you're dealing directly with a bonding company. You're only paying the bond fee not any kind of agent fees, and you can do this yourself very simply and have a title in your hands very quickly.